Day 3 at Baumar 2025, and today, we start in the Innovation Lab. Here you can not only create future construction machines yourself with the help of artificial intelligence, but also take a look at the technologies and products of tomorrow. Fitting for today's program, which is all about the efficient planning of energy requirements, digital tools, and autonomous machines. This is exactly the kind of machine we are starting with right now. I am standing here in front of an absolute premiere at Barma, the prototype of the battery electric and autonomous S1 vision. Marco, who is it for and what is the idea behind it? The S1 is our vision, our concept for the material transport of the future. We have an innovative single axle concept with the ability to rotate 360 degrees around its own axis. Battery electric, fully autonomous. On the one hand, of course, we are thinking here about the earth-moving sector, but also the agricultural sector and, of course, about material transport in general. What other highlights await visitors here at the Innovation Lab? We have clearly placed the topic of digitalization at the forefront here, but also the topic of remote machine operations. And, of course, one of our highlights in the Innovation Lab is our autonomously operated wheel loader. Thank you very much, Marco. We'll talk about the autonomous wheel loader in a moment. But first, let's take a look at two tangible solutions for everyday life on the construction site. Here we see the LPO 600. This is our energy storage solution from Leaper. With this we offer a solution for the electrical construction site of the future. LPO 600 stands for 600 kilowatt hours of energy, which are installed here. It's like a buffer store. This means I can constantly recharge energy. The LPO 600 buffers this. And when the construction machine needs the energy again, I can transfer the energy to the construction machine. I can do the whole thing using a pivoting cable arm. It can be extended and has two charging points, in this case two high-power charging points, each capable of delivering 150 kilowatt of energy to the construction machines. This also gives me the opportunity to quickly charge the construction machines during my lunch break, for example. And this clearly facilitates the use of electric construction machines on the construction site. The LPOs are all connected. We also have an app for this. This means that the LPOs can also be viewed on this app. For example, I can see the site, I know where the machine is located, located, I know what the machine is currently doing, and I can also plan charging slots for the construction machines. So I know that the construction machine will arrive at noon for an hour to charge, and that there will be enough energy to keep the machines working throughout the day. Behind us we see the new mobile mix for Point Zero, brand new in this size class in our Leaper product portfolio a mixing plant to produce concrete and also simply a mobile mixing plant that can be quickly assembled and dismantled. The new feature of the mobile mix for point zero is the 4.0 cubic meter twin shaft mixer. We now manage to emit a full 165 cubic meters in this size class with a normal output of 150 cubic meters. That means 10% more output. And we achieve all this with our Lee Performance Process Optimization. Lee Performance Process Optimization simply means optimizing all processes at the mixing plant. One is the output, and another is the issue of saving cement, because we can dose the cement very finely and precisely. We are talking about approximately 1 kg dosing accuracy, with an average concrete volume of around 50,000 cubic meters per year. We therefore achieve a saving of around 50,000 euros in cement. Or as an equivalent, we save 240 tons of CO2 emissions. Now, as promised, take a look at this, no operator, no radio signal, no joystick. This wheel loader moves completely independently through our showcase. The autonomous wheel loader is therefore no longer a dream of the future, but can be experienced here and now. How exactly does this work? Take a look. There are a lot of monotonous assignments and it is becoming increasingly difficult to inspire people to do this. And in future, machines will be able to do this more and more themselves, so that people can carry out higher value activities. Anyone should be able to use our system with a short training course, which means that it is only possible to put such a system into practice in small quarries. 
The special thing about the concept is its ease of use, and we can only achieve this by being truly autonomous. So automated would mean that you have to specify a lot, that you have to pre-draw paths etc, and we are one step above that. We can really only roughly specify the task graphically, and the system is intelligent enough, autonomous enough, that it then finds a solution in its individual environment as to how the material is transported from A to B. It is only through this high degree of autonomy that we create ease of use, which is the key. Pilot customers operate these machines for months, often years, before we even go public with the systems, so to speak, and robustness is naturally guaranteed from day one. We start with our large wheel loaders from the X-Power series, from the L550 to the L586. Autonomy will be made available there as an equipment package, but there are also plans to extend this technology to smaller wheel loaders from our product program in the future. And to round off today's episode, let's hear how Liebherr customers can train their crane operators with my Liebherr. Michaela Gogeisel explains how this works. Michaela, how exactly do I have to imagine this? What is happening here? My MyLeapHair is our well-known customer portal on which we offer various applications. Among other things, there's an option of purchasing an Elling program that allows us to shorten the training of mobile crane operators to one week. The course previously lasted 10 days and was face-to-face -face training. In combination with the Elling, the crane operator can obtain the license in just five days. Why is this so important, both for one side? and the other. We are also facing a global skills shortage among crane operators. This gives us the opportunity to offer training, also in the shortest time possible, so that the crane operator can be back on the construction site as quickly as possible. Thank you. Interesting insights and great concept. That's it for day three of the Liebherr Baumar video magazine. Tomorrow you are invited to join us again. Because then I can operate a machine myself. And it's not even here in Munich. It will be exciting. Don't miss it. And the two of us take a few souvenir photos.